My name is Liam O'Keefe. I'm the Deputy Managing Director of Emergency Management for the City of Philadelphia, and uh, welcome to the National Preparedness Month kickoff. First, I want to recognize John Griffin and Target for hosting today's event and for allowing us to commandeer a fairly significant chunk of their parking space um, and educate the public on the need to prepare for emergencies. We also have today with us Mayor uh, Michael Nutter, Deputy Mayor for Public Safety, Everett Gillison, Fire Commissioner Lloyd Ayers, Deputy Commissioner William Blackburn of the Police Department, and a number of other city officials who have graciously given their time today to prepare emergency supplies. I also want to thank Judge Renee Cardwell-Hughes of the American Red Cross's Southeastern Pennsylvania Chapter, and our newest preparedness partner, Michael Kelly of the Philadelphia Housing Authority. Additionally, I'd like to uh, extend a special thanks to Major Andrew Murray of the Salvation Army, as well as Reverend Bonnie Camarada. After the 5.8 earthquake, Category 1 hurricane, mixed with multiple tornado warnings within this past week, I think it's safe to say that emergencies can and do happen within the city of Philadelphia. Please take advantage of the information that uh, the, all of the emergency response agencies represented here have to offer. This time of the month, National Preparedness Month, to help you help yourself and your families prepare for emergencies. If you have already prepared, use this month to update your family emergency plan, check your emergency supplies, and practice with your family how to evacuate and how to shelter in place in your home. With that, I would like to ask John Griffith from Target Corporation to say a few words. Good morning, and Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Common Avenue Target store. Once again, Target is honored and privileged to partner with the Mayor's Office, the Philadelphia Office of Emergency Management, Philadelphia Police Department, Philadelphia Fire Department, Philadelphia Housing Authority, and the American Red Cross to promote family and personal preparedness. In light of recent events this past weekend with Hurricane Irene, there is no better time to remember how important it is for ourselves, our families, and our communities to be prepared for a disaster. At Target, we listen, we act, we give. Before and after a crisis, communities can count on Target. Target teams from across the country spend countless hours preparing for disasters of any magnitude. We routinely conduct preparedness exercises that include every part of our organization. Target's corporate command center operates 24-7, monitors events around the globe, keeps in close contact with teams across our corporation to prepare for and respond quickly to almost any situation. We feel that Target is a critical part of the national infrastructure. Our stores remain open as long as we can provide a safe shopping environment and reopen as soon as possible after an emergency to give communities access to supplies. Preparedness is a top priority for Target, how we operate our business and how we contribute to the resiliency of our communities. The more guests and team members are prepared in advance of a disaster, the easier it is for communities to quickly recover. Target is excited to be able to work with the Philadelphia Office of Emergency Management and the American Red Cross to sponsor today's preparedness event, as well as provide 174 emergency kits to residents of the Philadelphia Housing Authority for upcoming emergency preparedness workshops. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Thank you, John. And it is now my pleasure to introduce Mayor Michael Nutter, who will proclaim the start of National Preparedness Month in Philadelphia. Good morning, everyone, and uh, Liam, thank you uh, very, very much. It is uh, certainly exciting, uh, but uh, also important uh, that uh, we recognize and uh, kick off uh, today National Preparedness Month. Um, there are a lot of people behind me, and many of uh, them you will hear from. Uh, unfortunately, I will uh, have to leave uh, shortly after my remarks. I have a, a funeral uh, to attend. Uh, but uh, I think, as uh, Liam mentioned, uh, the events just of the past uh, few weeks and earlier this year with a tornado touching down, uh, I think it's a reminder, uh, especially with the 10th anniversary uh, of that horrific day in September of 2001. Uh, we watched as a nation, uh, whether we saw the Twin Towers in New York or the Pentagon in Washington or even just in the field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Uh, we know, unfortunately, that just about anything imaginable and then beyond 
uh, can happen at any moment in time. And so that's why we prepare. That's why we train. That's why we drill uh, day after day after day. And uh, the folks who really make that happen, uh, one was mentioned, uh, Deputy Mayor for Public Safety, uh, Everett Gillison, and Deputy Mayor for Administration and Coordination, our Managing Director, Rich Negrin, and certainly Fire Commissioner Ayers and Police Commissioner Ramsey and his team and Deputy Commissioner Blackburn, who is the uh, Homeland Security director for the city uh, in the police department. Liam O'Keefe is a deputy managing director uh, and heads up our office of emergency management and Samantha Phillips uh, works uh, with him. Mike Kelly, uh, we're very, very excited uh, to have PHA uh, as a partner. Michael's been doing a tremendous job uh, at PHA and we're very, very excited uh, to have him uh, working with us as a teammate. Judge Renee Caldwell Hughes, uh, you know, has dedicated her life to public service and working with people and certainly was uh, just a fantastic judge. But I have to say uh, that uh, the past uh, week or so, as we uh, dealt with uh, the earthquake uh, and then more intensely as we anticipated uh, what could possibly be uh, as a result of uh, Hurricane Irene coming, uh, Judge Hughes was at every briefing, every meeting, every planning session. Uh, but then beyond. You know that we had three shelters uh, set up in different parts of the city, one in the northeast, one in the northwest, and one in southwest. Uh, I was able to go to a couple of those uh, shelters, and as I see these uh, three little ones here, I'm reminded uh, that we had children, uh, five-year-olds, we had 85-year-olds, and everything uh, in between. And uh, the one thing that uh, you see uh, very, very clearly, when folks see the police or the fire, they're certainly uh, relieved. Uh, but there is really nothing uh, like seeing that big American Red Cross symbol uh, and the people that go with it. Uh, it really brings a sense of calm. It brings a sense of security. And I want to publicly thank uh, Judge Renee Carwood Hughes. What a fantastic uh, team uh, we have uh, and people that make uh, things happen. Target, uh, John Griffin, uh, you know, we, uh, this is uh, my fourth year of participating. We've, Target's been a major sponsor and supporter. Uh, during my time as mayor, and we try to go to different Target stores uh, all across their network, try to pick uh, uh, one of the newer ones uh, to highlight what we're doing. Target, uh, in this regard, is always on Target. Uh, we really, really appreciate everything that you do. You've been a fantastic uh, partner with us, and uh, on behalf of a million and a half people here in the city of Philadelphia, can we please give Target a big, big round of applause? So thank you. We have other uh, partners and uh, certainly the majors here from the Salvation Army and Reverend Bonnie, who uh, wears uh, so, so many uh, hats. Um, she doesn't get as much recognition as she should, and there's still some who are uh, struggling, uh, trying to, you know, we, most people just call her Joan P., but uh, today I'm going to uh, go out on a limb and thank Joan Kresbaluski uh, for uh, her great work. She's always right there always behind the scenes, but you know, it's the behind the scenes people uh, who often uh, get the most uh, done. I want to thank uh, Joan for that. Uh, we, um, uh, the past week or so has certainly been uh, quite interesting uh, here in the city. Um, uh, as Liam mentioned, the earthquake uh, that really shook uh, the entire East Coast uh, from uh, Virginia uh, on up to, uh, into, uh, into Canada, uh, and then followed by uh, one of the worst storms that we've seen uh, in a long, long period of time. Uh, but we were certainly prepared uh, in the Office of Emergency Management to uh, make sure of that. Uh, the programs that we put together, the workshops, uh, these personal and family uh, preparedness workshops are going to be very, very important. If you need more information, if you want to get connected uh, and get real-time information, of course, uh, you can go to www.phila.gov slash ready or call 311. You can get updates literally right on your uh, mobile device. Philadelphia Housing Authority, uh, again, is uh, our new partner, and, and uh, PHA residents who attend family preparedness workshops at one of four PHA sites uh, will be provided with an emergency supply kit uh, for their household. Uh, and whether you're a PHA resident or not, all of us should have one of those emergency supply kits. You never know when power might go out or you have other challenges uh, and uh, need to, uh, as we call it, shelter in place. And so again, I want to thank Target for donating uh, the, uh, the money uh, for these kids. The Office of Emergency Management and the American Red Cross will host these workshops at four PHA sites uh, all around the city. And we want to encourage 
all of our PHA residents uh, to participate. Let me ask now uh, Deputy Mayor Gilson, uh, Fire Commissioner Ayers, uh, Deputy Police Commissioner Blackburn, uh, Liam uh, and uh, Sam uh, from OEM and Judge Hughes from the American Red Cross and John Griffin uh, from Target to join me as we make this uh, special presentation. And Michael Kelly, can you come on up? proclamation uh, from uh, the city of Philadelphia. Uh, National Preparedness Month creates an important opportunity for Philadelphians to prepare their homes, businesses, and communities for any type of emergency from natural disasters to potential terrorist attacks. Investing in the preparedness of ourselves, our families, businesses, and communities can save lives, reduce injuries, and minimize economic devastation in our communities and throughout our nation. This year, during National Preparedness Month, the Philadelphia Office of Emergency Management, the Philadelphia Citizen Corps, the American Red Cross, Southeastern Pennsylvania Chapter, and Target are partnering with the Philadelphia Housing Authority to help their residents prepare for emergencies and to know what to do when an emergency strikes. Through the generosity of Target, PHA residents who go through a preparedness workshop in September at one of the four PHA sites will receive a go-back an emergency supply kit that they can grab and go when an emergency strikes. Emergency preparedness is the responsibility of all Philadelphians, regardless of where you live. The cooperative efforts of the Philadelphia Office of Emergency Management and the Philadelphia Housing Authority, supported by their partners and sponsors, will help ensure that PHA residents are prepared for any kind of emergency. Therefore, I, Michael A. Nutter, Mayor of the City of Philadelphia, do hereby proclaim the month of September 2011 to be National Preparedness Month and urge all Philadelphians to develop their own emergency preparedness plan and work together toward creating a more prepared city by attending one of the many preparedness workshops offered this month throughout the city. Signed by me as Mayor of the City of Philadelphia, this is an official document of the city. Thank you so much. For the public housing residents, I'm be, uh, representing uh, so much of what Philadelphia is all about. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, team. Uh, look forward to this partnership. Thank you, John. Look forward to continuing to uh, to make this a bigger and better event every year. I want to recognize uh, uh, Estelle Richmond as the commission and all the work that the Department of Housing and Urban Development does in partnership with us. And God bless you. Great being part of the family. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Uh, next, Judge Renee Cardwell Hughes from the American Red Cross, Southeastern Pennsylvania Chapter. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Um, I apologize for the delay, but my Red Cross Club students um, have a present for the mayor, and the mayor's schedule had to change unexpectedly, but he was not going to leave without meeting these wonderful young people. Um, the Red Cross Club students help us have preparedness reach into families. We work with Bach High School, Lincoln, um, Carver Engineering and Science, Dobbins, Franklin Learning Center, Frankfurt High School. We work with 15 high schools across the city of Philadelphia to teach leadership skills and preparedness. So I could not have the mayor leave without meeting these amazing young people. But let me thank Mayor Nutta. Um, as wonderful as he thinks the Red Cross is, we think the mayor is wonderful because we're able to do what he, we do because the mayor supports preparedness. The mayor believes in the mission of the Red Cross. So I want to thank Mayor Nutter, Deputy Mayor Gillison, who understands that safety is all about preventing a disaster. Um, Liam and O'Keefe and Sam Phillips from OEM, they're absolutely amazing partners. And it goes without saying. Commissioner Lloyd Ayers of the Fire Department and Commissioner Charles Ramsey of the Philadelphia Police Department, they are my heroes. I love them to death. They always step to the plate. This eighth year of National Preparedness Month is made even more special 
by our partnership with PHA. The leadership that Michael Kelly has brought to the Philadelphia Housing Authority and really understanding the needs of our community, what it takes to have families be safe and whole is so extraordinary. So this first time ever partnership to have the four workshops is truly noteworthy. And I want everyone to recognize PHA for its leadership. And did I save Target for last? Absolutely, I saved Target for last. And I love red, so you can imagine, I know Target. I walked into this Target, and there, it was a wonderful young manager. He was like, well, let me show you. I'm like, no, the restrooms are over here to the right, and the groceries are over to He goes, you know Target. I'm like, are you kidding? Target is a phenomenal store. And what's most important is Target is a phenomenal community partner. Target makes very, very clear we're going to take care of our people and we're going to take care of our communities. And that's why we're here today in the Target parking lot. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your vision. And most of all, thank you for your commitment. This month, we are reaching broadly. We are reaching widely. In addition to this event and the additional um, workshops that we'll be doing across the city. There are at this moment 92 events that have been planned for National Preparedness Month. Our goal is to prevent, prepare, and recover from emergencies. And the first step, the most critical step, is for you to be prepared. So you will see ads in the Philadelphia Metro. You will see ads in Aldea, which is our leading Spanish language newspaper. And you will also see ads in Chinese Metro Weekly. We're working hard to reach all aspects of our community. All month long, I would encourage you to go to redcrossphilly.org. You can go to our Twitter feed, which is Red Cross Philly, or our Facebook page. We will have information posted daily to help you with preparedness and to give you additional information about the Red Cross. But let's focus really quickly. The three principles of being Red Cross ready, get a kit, make a plan, be informed. Now the elements of a kit we will show you today, but fundamentally you need a flashlight, batteries, non-perishable food, peanut butter is my favorite, water, copies of important documents, and please, Grab some cash because ATMs could go out of service if there was some kind of power shortage. You also want to think about your children. You want to make sure you have toys, books, things that will keep the children calm because a great deal of being prepared is being calm and knowing that you can get through the event. I also wear contact lenses, so I always grab my glasses, okay? I got to make sure I can see when the lights go out. But it is critical. Disasters take all forms. Earthquakes, hurricanes, fires, you name it, we see it. So we want you to be prepared. Please go to redcrossphilly.org, make your plan, get a kit, and support our partners. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Judge Hughes. Now, if we could have Deputy Mayor uh, for Public Safety, Everett Gillison, as well as Judge Hughes, to honor members of the Red Cross Youth Council. Well, first off, I'm going to say, um, obviously, one thing that we always have to make sure is that we're transmitting the, the correct information to our children, because I refuse to believe that the children can't handle the responsibilities of keeping them and, and be, making sure that everyone is safe. They understand it if we take the time to teach. So I want to say thank you to the following students and, and give a certificate of appreciation uh, to the following individuals. One, Ramada Samsa from uh, George Washington Carver High School for Engineering and Science. I also would like to uh, present a certificate of appreciation to Fahim Shah from Bach Technical High School.
From Franklin Learning Center, we have Andrew Cruz. And for today, Sabrina Blake from Frankfurt High School. And each of these are uh, in recognition of your exceptional leadership in developing and delivering the 2011 American Red Cross Camp Save-A-Life. September 11th. It is signed by Judge Renee Cardwell Hughes, the Chief Executive Officer, and Mayor Michael Nutter. So thank you very much. Each summer we run Camp Save a Life, and Camp Save a Life is geared toward um, children whose families have survived a disaster. And the purpose of Camp Save a Life is to teach the children how to be prepared in the event of disaster. Our Red Cross Club students are the junior counselors, and really that term doesn't begin to describe for you what they do. They lead Camp Save a Life. They teach life-saving skills to young children so that their families can be ready and respond. So these young men and women that you see here, they are exceptional. They are our future leaders. And, and Andrew, you know, shook my hand and didn't give me a hug because Andrew is getting ready for politics. He's going to be mayor. So, you know, you need to warn Mayor Nutter that Andrew's on his way. Thank you, Judge Hughes. And now, Deputy Commissioner William Blackburn from the city's police department. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I want to start off uh, the National Preparedness Month and thanking Target. Target has always been a big supporter of the Philadelphia Police Department. I also want to thank the volunteers. I especially want to thank the Philadelphia Police Explorers and the recipients of the awards behind me to my left. And on behalf of uh, Police Commissioner Ramsey, and more than 6,400 sworn police officers in the department. The Philadelphia Police Department encourages members, if you see something, say something. And it's an important theme about National Preparedness Month. In addition, as we're quickly approaching 911, I'd like to offer some tips to the community. And these tips are very important during this time. The first tip, be alert to unintended packages. Be wary of suspicious behavior. Take notice of people in bulky or inappropriate clothing. Report exposed wiring or other irregularities. Report anyone tampering with surveillance cameras or entering unauthorized areas. And especially important, report suspicious vehicles or truck parked unattended. And remember, if you see something, say something. Alert a police officer. Alert a firefighter. Alert a member of the Salvation Army or the Red Cross a bus operator, private security. In addition, if you see something suspicious, make sure you call 911. And there's all other information available. You can use the PhiladelphiaPolice.com. And, and in closing, again, I want to thank everyone for coming out and, and thank the volunteers for, for, their, uh, for their attention here. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner Blackburn. Um, at this time, I would like to invite Fire Commissioner Lord Ayers to talk about the importance of fire safety. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Partnership, that's what it's all about. We've had our partners with us for a long time. That's the way we look at it in the fire department. Whether it's the Philadelphia Police, the Red Cross, early in the morning, because when we leave, they take very good care of our citizens. They take them, they make sure that they have everything that they need so that they can get their lives in order. The emergency services from the Salvation Army, they're out there with us as well. Another partner. When we stop and we think about PHA and what they do as far as our partners, making sure that our citizens are safe. So I feel very comfortable right now uh, with all of our partners around us. And what could you say about the Office of Emergency Management? They've done a great job. They've made sure that everyone is coordinated, focused on one thing. That is preventing injuries, preventing deaths, and making sure that we can get the business of running a great city, being a part of a great city, back in hand. And they've done a great job. Thank you very much. Excellent, Liam. 
I'd like to say thank you to all of our Red Cross volunteers because uh, if, if we don't have them out teaching, making sure that the children understand how important it is to be a good citizen, making sure that the citizen, the uh, children know how important it is to have a value there and citizenship, then where will we be? And look at them. Absolute great examples of what it's all about, role modeling par excellence, and that's what it's all about. But today, I'm going to talk about a very important part of being safe, and that is being fire safe in your home. And when you look over and you see our fire safety trailer, I'm hoping that the young children are going to go over, uh, get the literature, sit down, and find out what they should do just in case of a fire emergency in the home. They'll learn about smoke alarms, one on every level, making sure that they're tested, making sure that you have a plan to escape your home in case of a fire. All of those things are very important. Also, they'll learn about carbon monoxide detectors and the fact that you should have one in your home, at least one in the basement or one on every level if possible. The first one goes in to the sleeping area next to basement. If you can get one on the first floor or the second floor for three-story dwellers, then that's going to be important. Very important thing. So this is a very good uh, time to come together. Again, the earthquake, we stopped. We saw the hurricane that came through. And now we need to learn from those great lessons. Make sure that you Take it to your family, take it to the neighborhood, take it to those that don't understand, those that don't have an idea right now. The question is, are you ready, Philadelphia? God bless. Thank you, Commissioner, Commissioner Ayers. At this time, I would like to thank our Ready Philadelphia and Ready Notify PA campaign sponsors, many of whom supported our public education and outreach efforts for the past six years. Of course, the American Red Cross Southeastern Pennsylvania chapter for its leadership role in the development of the Ready campaign, the Star Group for developing the original branding and design of the Ready Philadelphia campaign, Target, of course, for hosting our kickoff event for four years in a row now. Clear Channel Digital Outdoor Advertising, who will be running ready messages on their digital outdoor network along I-95 for National Preparedness Month. Global Internet Management for their assistance with OEM's wonderful website, managed by Ed Vassal right here in front of you. www.phila.gov slash ready. The radio networks and stations, including Clear Channel Radio, WFIL and WNTP Radio, WMMR, 97.5 FM, The Fanatic, 950 AM ESPN, and WGTWTV for running preparedness public service announcements and conducting interviews on family emergency preparedness and business continuity planning. The Philadelphia Water Department. PICO, PGW, and the Office of Housing and Community Development for publishing preparedness messages in their monthly bulletins and newsletters. The Franklin Institute and Amtrak 30th Street Station for hosting preparedness events in those respective locations. And the list goes on as we continue to receive additional support. We would also like to thank all of our partners who have supported our series of family emergency preparedness workshops, including the Philadelphia Housing Authority, the Free Library of Philadelphia, the Associated Services for the Blind, and many civic associations around the city, and the Bar Association and the Building Owners and Managers Association, BOMA, for their continued support and sponsorship of our business continuity planning workshops. Your commitment to our public education and community outreach programs is greatly appreciated. Um, before I go on, I also see Sergeant Massey from the Second Alarmers organization. I think any of my partners behind me uh, would attest to uh, the, the great resources that they provide to the first responder community and also supporting the message of personal preparedness. So thank you, Second Alarmers. Finally, we would also like to thank the members of our Citizen Corps Advisory Council who faithfully attend our monthly planning meetings and provide guidance for the development of our public education preparedness program. 
Now, I would like all the dignitaries behind me and all our partners to help in assisting the Philadelphia Police Explorers post 991 assemble the emergency kits for the Philadelphia Housing Authority's emergency preparedness workshops. Thank you.